it, it sounds like a, a water balloon a little bit to me. <laughs> Quinton Roycroft describes what it's like when he's driving and his car gets pelted with cicadas, leaving behind guts that are nearly impossible to remove, something all of us are dealing with these days. 695, they just flying through, get a lot of splat on them, and it don't come off. <laughs> Like, you literally got to scrub it. Like, I was hoping this would get a lot of it off, but I'm going to have to go back and probably take an actual, some Windex and really put some elbow grease into it. So this vehicle's in for a full detail. Frank Provenzano, general manager of Encore Detailing in Owings Mills, told us bug guts are always a problem in the spring, but this year the cicadas are making things much worse. Now that cicadas are out, it's just much larger bugs and a lot more of them. So this is a problem that... We've dealt with every year, and now it's magnified. Provenzano explained to us the reason they're so difficult to clean off your car is because the guts immediately bond with your car's surfaces. Your automotive surfaces, your glass, your, your paint, your trim, whatever surface that bug is making contact with is porous. So the guts and the pores of the surface bond pretty much right away. He also told us letting the guts sit in the heat without cleaning it can make things much worse. Um, bug guts, they're acidic, okay? And the acid that is in the bug guts will eventually eat through the surface of the clear coat and etch. It'll leave a permanent bug mark that can't be removed. So what can you do to keep your car clean? While well, the best advice is to wash your car daily, Provenzano says you can spot treat with bug remover or use a diluted household cleaner and a rag. You could spray this product directly onto a towel and just gently swab at it and this will loosen up the bug guts and remove them from the surface. And if you'd like more helpful tips on how to keep your car clean during this cicada season, we've got some links on our website WBALTV.com and on our mobile app. In Owings Mills, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.